Now this is the side of the Egyptian link that I attach it to. Side with the loop facing up. We'll put it on, close it, and we have the hook part mounted to our Egyptian link. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to show you how to attach the, the figure eight. I have one on already. Now this is the idea. It'll close like this. Well, let us cut off the existing figure eight and start from scratch so you know where to go with this. To make the figure eight, cut yourself a length of wire about six inches long. Start with your round nose plier. Position a round nose plier about one inch from the end of the wire. So you have a short end and a long end. Begin to bend your wire in such a way that you're going to create a loop. There we go. Step one. Step two. Take the pliers, put it at the base of the loop that you just created. Notice I use the wide part of my plier and I reverse the motion. I make a mirror image of that loop, the first loop. This is why I call it a figure eight. It looks like a figure eight to me. Now something to note. Let's call these the legs of the link at this part. You have a large, a long leg and a short leg. The legs of the link need to fall on opposite sides of one another, meaning that the link, the figure eight, is in the middle and one leg shoots out on one side, the other leg shoots out on the opposite side. I hope this is clear in the video. I'm not sure it is. If they both fall on the same side, in other words here, let's look at this short leg. If the long leg also exits out on the same side, you'll never be able to go to the next step. The next step involves wrapping it, wrapping the long wire around the short wire and locking it in place. If they're on the same side, it's going to not want to wrap itself. It's going to unwrap as you're trying to wrap it. Next step is to take this link that we've created and thread it onto the Egyptian link. What I'm going to do is I'm going to thread the short side onto the link like that. Now I'm going to take my flat nose pliers. I'm going to hold the link firmly at the intersection of all the, of the wires at midpoint, at the link's midpoint. And I'm going to take the long length. This is why I said you want a short end of the long length. The long length facilitates the process of wrapping. I'm going to wrap the long side like like this. I'm wrapping it against the loop that's been inserted into the Egyptian uh, into the Egyptian link. I'm going to wrap it around three or four times. Makes a nice honeycomb type of pattern. Can you see that? There. That makes a little bit of sense. Now what I have to do is cut off. I have all this excess wire. What do you do with it? Well, you cut it off. Take my, my diagonal cutters, position it in the middle of that link. Here, can we see that? Right about there. Cut off the excess. Now, what I want to do is I don't want to leave the wire sticking out like that. That's, that can get caught on something very easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flat nose, I'm going to squeeze the wire 
into the center of the link. Crimp the wire. Come on. Still haven't accomplished what I want to accomplish. Okay. There it is. And then I'm going to press it into the center of that link. Get it out of the way. So what happens now is all you see on the top of that figure eight link is nice smooth wire. Nothing is sticking out. What about this? This has to be trimmed too. I like to pull it away from the link with my pliers and take my diagonal cutters, press it up against the link, grab it onto that piece of wire and cut it. There we have it. A figure eight link attached to the Egyptian link makes an excellent ending for a clasp and completes the basic hook and eye. Finished.